Hey beautiful friends, welcome back to my channel. So I have another fun video for you guys. You guys really liked it the last time that I did this, so I thought, hey, let's do it again. I have a Shein try on for you guys today. I purchased clothes from Shein quite often, quite recently, a little bit of both. Um, there's a few things that I have purchased from them. I had a few shipments come in. Not just things for myself, actually I ordered some things for the kids and for my husband as well. But I mean, let's be real, most of it's for me. So I had a few things come in and I thought, hey, let's try it on for you guys, with you guys. I will give you my absolute honest opinion on this company, on the brands, on the clothes that I am trying on. I will let you know how each of the items fit me and my absolute honest opinion here. I'm definitely not being sponsored or anything cool like that. So you don't have to worry about me like hushing anything up here. Okay, so I had four things that I actually got to try on for you guys. So I have two dresses two shirts and I mean really I'll let you guys see what you think I'll give you my honest opinion like I said I'll give you a description of each item and if it is still available I will leave everything linked down below so you can go and check it out I do honestly like Shein for the most part um, I think they're a great company it's a great company to get clothes that are fairly inexpensive and for the most part you get a good like value out of it they are good clothes when they come in I'm not gonna lie it is a hit and miss factor sometimes I get things that I'm just absolutely blown away by and other things I get that are just they're crap like I'm not gonna lie it's, it's just crap um, but I do have to say more so than not I am blown away blown away by the things that I am getting and for like the inexpensive price point it is great now recently this company has come under fire for underpaid women which is definitely not something that I'm about to like be about um, so I don't think I'm going to be purchasing them too too much more like I'm going to still order from them but instead of kind of being my go-to I just might not make this my go-to anymore um, it, it is one of those tricky things I mean I like getting good clothes for a good price and when I can buy like nine ten items sometimes more for like around a hundred dollars or like even less than that plus get it shipped to my house for free like it, it does make it hard to argue not buying from here um, but I mean there is just morals in there and and so there is that as well again totally up to you guys you guys can go and research it as far as this video goes I've already made this purchase I've already made a few purchases before I found out any of this information and like I said although it might not be my go to store anymore it is still something that I will probably shop at at least from time to time okay all that out of the way let's get into it Okay, first item that I have to share and put on for you guys is this Solid Contrast Lace Peplum Blouse. First of all, guys, I stinking love a peplum. Give me a peplum anything and I, I love it. The shirt I'm wearing right now is literally a peplum. Like, my bridesmaids dresses were peplum. I adore a peplum top. There's just something about it I think is so stinking cute and just give me all the peplum that you have. So this one is 100% polyester, short sleeve, v-neck, pullover, white, regular sleeve, peplum, contrast with lace, ruffle hem, regular fits. Um, it is a plain pattern, casual style for summer, non-stretch, non-sheer top. Now honestly when you look at the front of it, it doesn't look like it's anything too spectacular. It looks like a plain white top with a bit of a peplum in it. it. looks really cute. But the magic is when you turn around and you see that low V with the lace. It is absolutely stunning. It is what sold me on this top. I thought it was so stinking beautiful. Because the material isn't something that breathes particularly great, but again because it is a peplum and the low V, it's something that still is very, very nice. I love the beautiful stark white of it. It is gorgeous. I'm a big fan of just white shirts, so I think that this one is absolutely fantastic. The only real problem that I had with this, honestly, I would have given it a 10 out of 10. The only problem I have with this, you guys, is that it does fit small. If you can't tell, it does fit small in my arms and right across my chest. 
Now, I mean, it's not totally unbearable. It is something that I could still wear, but it's just not my favorite fit. I'm not 100% concerned about it because it is something like I am still losing weight. Up to this point, I've lost 40 pounds. I'm really hoping to lose at least another 30 to 40 pounds. And so I'm hoping that uh, as I lose the weight, I will be able to fit in it to it a bit better. So though it might not be something that's gonna fit me like perfect at this exact moment, by next year, I'm really hoping I'll fit into it really quite well. With that being said, it was also my fault. I ordered this in a size medium instead of a size large. Everything else that I've always purchased is basically a size large. Um, although I do find at this point, depending on the size of the top, I can even get into a medium. I'm kind of like right in between that in-between stage between a large and a medium, depending on what it is, obviously, but for the most part, I am still a large. This top, when they showed it on the model, it did look like it was like an oversized top. It said that she was a size small. Um, but it still looked like quite big on her. And although I do like a bigger top, I do like a smock type top. This one looked a bit bigger, so I did go down a size and I don't know why because everything from this company does typically fit smaller. It will fit well or it will fit smaller. I've never seen anything fit too big. I've, I've never really seen that. So it was my own fault there. But I mean, this ended up costing me $13. Like I said, I will fit into it. So it's not a huge concern, but um, it, it just didn't fit perfectly, which sucked. But that was also my own fault. Moving on to the next item here, which is actually a dress and it is so cute. This one is the leopard, leopard print tiered mini dress. Wow, I don't know why that was such a mouthful. It really wasn't, but I just couldn't say it. Description. Oh, this one actually has an actual description. I'm excited. Make a statement with this knit mini dress featuring an all over leopard print V-neck with self tie closures, short sleeves, and a tiered hem. This cute animal print would be great to wear on a warm summer day, paired with a straw hat and a cowboy boot. Oh, that would be cute. So it is 97% polyester, 3% spandex, short sleeve V-tie tie neck, multicolored regular sleeve, uh, flouncy smock, ruffle hem, regular fit, short leopard casual, summer non-stretch. So this one was honestly really, really cute. I was really excited to get this one. I love the print. I love how it is a leopard print, but it's not like crazy striking. And the fact that it's like a pink and brown, it's just kind of these soft, soft tones. I think it is so sweet. Definitely something you can be wearing during the summer. Definitely something I'm going to be wearing this summer and just wearing out. I love how it is something you can either dress up or keep it down and casual. It was honestly a really cute dress. Like the way it fit, it is something, it is just a smock. It just fits right over, fits comfortably. It's not tight, it's not too much. Honestly, really, really like this dress. Only real complaint, I guess I could say about this one is the sleeves on it. I found the sleeves for the dress were a little long and almost didn't look like they matched with the dress perfectly. I would have liked it if maybe it was a little bit shorter or I, I'm not too sure. There's just something about the sleeve that I didn't absolutely love about this dress. But again, I think it is so cute, especially at the price point. I paid $17 for this dress and I just, I think it's so cute. Honestly, I'm really, really happy with it. Even though it's not like a perfect 10 for me with that little modification of the sleeve, um, I honestly just, I really, really love it. Okay, moving on to item number three, we have the Tropical and Letter Graphic Tee. This is something that I just saw. They have a number of them. I think they're really cute. Um, I wanted just a regular tee, again, in a white, because I love whites. And I really wanted this because, again, I have a bunch of tees. It's not that I don't have any, but all of my tees, and I mean all of them, are Disney t-shirts. Totally not opposed to it. Love my Disney t-shirts, but I also just want maybe a few that are just a regular t-shirt with kind of a regular design on it. So I saw this, again, super great price, and I picked it up. So it's 100% cotton short sleeve round neck pullover, white regular sleeve, cotton regular fit, regular length uh, letters with the tropical, casual summer, slight stretch, and it is not sheer. So I just love this pattern. There is something about this design and kind of that tropical feel that I really like, especially in t-shirts. I guess it's almost like a pattern t-shirt for a woman. And I just think it's so cute. It is again, definitely something you could totally dress up 
or just like running to the grocery store with a pair of shorts on, put on this tee, you can totally rock it out that way. You wanna be a little bit more fancy, you can always throw on a jean with it, tuck it in a bit, put on a nice hat and like do up your glam makeup and you are rocking it. Um, again, I honestly just love this pattern. There's something about these like vintage antique shirts. I'm sure there's like an actual name for them and I just can't think of it that I absolutely love. I just think they're so stinking cool really happy with this actually i really thought that this was something i was like okay a t-shirt like i'm either gonna like it or i'm not honestly this might be my favorite purchase out of this it just fit so comfortably i love where it cuts at the body as well again for a lot of my like <laughs> disney tees they're all big they're all oversized which i love but i love that this one is like a more feminine t-shirt and just cuts really nice and honestly you guys i think I really, really like this top. They have a bunch on there, so if you're not into this design, they have a bunch others you can go and check out as well. But I do love these like California vibe tops. Next item up is another dress. So this one is a dual pocket ruffle cuff smock dress. Again, wow, like that's a lot to say. Description, 97% polyester, 3% spandex, cap sleeve v-neck burnt orange butterfly sleeve material polyester hem shape flare high waist smock pocket button front it is a loose fit short dress plain boho summer non-stretch and not sheer first of all can we talk about a dress that has pockets like what is it with us women when a dress has pocket it's like it blows our minds like our minds just can't handle it there is something about a pocket that is just like it is everything to us i don't know what it is but it's just it is amazing moving on from the pocket the way this dress fits was honestly great again totally boho you just put it on and it just fits and it's really nice because it has that high waist it does cinch you in a bit even with it being oversized and it does give you that illusion waist which was really really nice the butterfly sleeve is honestly adorable i really like the butterfly sleeve on this it again adds a little bit of a more feminine touch as if they were to do just a regular t-shirt sleeve with it the butterfly sleeve is honestly such a cute design the entire button front closure again is something i really like something i'm really into this year which i guess goes along with the whole boho theme of it and i think it's really cute only thing about this is the top button it does give a little bit of a pull there and it's not fitting perfectly and it's not even like the dress was actually too small or too snug because it was honestly just sitting on my body so i do think that was more of a design flaw something wasn't actually um sewn in properly or sewn in straight but again you can always just put a tiny pin there no one will even see it and it'll fix that problem or you can even leave it it's probably just me being more paranoid than anything again this dress would probably get perfect marks but i'm not even sure how it's going to show up on camera when you hold this dress up you guys it's pretty stinking sheer because I'm down here in my basements, even though I have the lights, like, I don't think you guys can pick up how sheer this dress is. It's like, if you are inside somewhere, I'm sure it's totally fine. You wouldn't really have to worry. Be a little see-through, sure, but, I mean, it'd be no different than really any other top nowadays. But if you were outside in the beautiful, bright sun, and you're wearing this dress, like, people are seeing your undergarments for sure. Okay, I'm not going to say you're going to say for sure. I'm going to have to try it out. But... I'm honestly a little worried to wear this out. I might have to put like an entire like bathing suit piece underneath of it to feel more comfortable wearing it out because I do think that this is going to be a bit more sheer than what that they're saying it is because when you hold it up like you can see pretty much everything through it so I'm not sure again maybe it's me being more paranoid than anything I do have to actually wear it out to see what it's like or I'll have to take my husband with me and go outside and be like hey can I wear this in public babe or not because um, it's just it is a little I'm not sure where it's at exactly last thing actually is this shirt I did pick this up in a recent purchase as well it is like a polyester mix here it has this cute little button down um, peplum top again I think it's absolutely adorable with this cute little puff sleeve really really like this top the only thing I don't like about it is actually kind of the material which again was my own fault I should have paid attention um, it is like more of a polyester and I thought it'd be 
um, more of like a cotton top since some of the other ones I have bought are basically all cotton. I don't know, I just this one I didn't pay attention to, I guess. Um, but if I'm just inside, it's totally good, but I wouldn't wear this outside during the summer because you would definitely be sweating and getting some sweat stains in it. But I think it's really, really cute. Let me know what you think. Okay friends, so those were all the purchases that I made this time. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what you think of this company. Um, let me know what your favorite item is down below. Like I said, if they have these things available, I will definitely be linking them for you guys so you can go and check them out. I do like this company for the most part. I really, really do. But again, there's just certain things that they have going on that I'm not a huge fan of. If they fix them, then again, I will make this like my number one shopping source. But until then, I'm gonna maybe have to look at a few other places for now. But again, I do still have other orders coming in from them and I do like the clothes. So I'm, I'm totally right in the middle of this. Tell me your thoughts on the clothes down below. Please go ahead and do that. What's your favorite thing? Do you have any of these items? Also let me know for next time. I do have a few bathing suits coming in from them. Would you guys be interested in something like that? I definitely do not have any smoking beautiful body by any way, shape, or form, but I do honestly like the bathing suits and I've actually ordered bathing suits from this company for years. It's actually one of the first things I ever ordered from them. So it is something that I do like and I will probably continue to get. Um, so if you guys are interested in a bathing suit try on and you're not like grossed out by my crazy body, like let me know that as well. Okay, my beautiful friends, that does it for me today. No matter what you're doing, I hope you're having an absolutely magical day, and I'll talk to y'all real soon. Bye!